Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to the stopwatch tutorial on Unity. We are going to create a stopwatch with three buttons, which uh, one will be the start button, the next will be stop and a reset button. And we'll also display the stopwatch using a text UI element. So let's get started. First, let's go ahead and set up all our UI and then we'll create our script and then we'll link our script to our UI. So let's add the text element first. It will be in UI text. Uh, in the old version of Unity, the text was here. In the new version of Unity, this is Unity 2021.3.2. The text element is available under legacy. And I'm going to call this top watch display. Let it be a little bit to the top. Okay, and I'm going to increase the font size to 30 and to make sure it is visible. So let's make both width and height to 200. And let's align the text to the center. Okay, so now let's add a UI button. And this will be my third button. So my text inside the button so will be start and let me and let me move the start button here. Then let's duplicate it and let's call it stop. Uh, we need to change the text also to stop and then move the button to a different position. Now let's duplicate this and this will be reset and the text also will be reset and let's move the reset button here. So this is how our game looks like. We have a text element which will be the display of our stopwatch. Then we have a start button, a stop button and a reset button. Now for the script. We'll attach that to an empty game object. So let's create an empty game object and call it stopwatch. And let's click on add component and add a script called timer example. Now let's open the script in Visual Studio for editing. Now we don't need these two using statements, so those namespaces are not used in this code. But we need to access the UI, so we need using unity engine.ui. So let's add that using unity engine dot UI. Then first we need a public text variable which will be the display text and let's call it display variable. Then we need a float which will be the value of our stopwatch. Then we need a pool which will decide when the stopwatch starts or stop. So let's call it str. Okay. Now in the start function, let's set the initial values. So val equal to zero and str will be equal to false. And in the update function, we'll check whether str is true. And if it is true, then we'll increment val by time dot delta time. Okay, and then we have to display it also. So we'll say display variable dot text is equal to value, which is uh, in float. So we have to convert that to string. That means dot to string semicolon. Now we need three functions for each of the start, stop, and reset buttons. So this will be void uh, it should be public so that the button can access it public void 
start. The unit is inbuilt start function is a capital S, so I'm using a small s here. So this start and that start are two different functions. So I'm going to set str group. Now let's copy the start function. And let's create another function called stop. And inside stop, we are going to set the str value to false. Now let's create another function called reset. And inside reset, let's set str to false. Sorry. And also we'll reset the value to zero. So now our script is ready and we are back to Unity. First, let's assign the display variable to the stopwatch. So select the stopwatch, you should see the display variable here. So let's take the stopwatch display and assign it to the variable. Next, select your start button, go to the on click event, click on the plus sign and assign the stopwatch game object to it. Now you should see the timer example function and select the start function. So similarly, we'll do that for the stop. And for the reset. So now everything is assigned, so we can start the game. So initial value of the stopwatch is zero. And if you click on the start button, the stopwatch starts and if we click on the stop it stops if we click on start it resumes again and if we click on reset it's reset to zero and the clock and the stopwatch is stopped so that's it you have created a simple stopwatch in unity and if you have any other questions you can leave them in the comment box below also this code is available on the blog post on mining studio and the link is there in the description so see you in the next tutorial and have a good day Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.